Hey, everybody. Hey, Baku. Hey, Bunny. Welcome back to Fan Phantasmagoria. Apparently, that's a real word. It's not like a made-up word for a video game. <laughs> like, I know that it's a real wor word because whenever I type it out, it doesn't have that red underline underneath it. I gotta look up the definition. Let me see. Let me just do this really quick. Phantasmagoria. A sequence of real or imaginary images like those seen in a dream. Oh, cool. Yeah, welcome back. It's a pretty weird game. I think we're about halfway through it. Like chapter... Chapter 4? You could probably look it up. Or just see. Yeah, we just started chapter 4. And things are starting to get kind of crazy. Our husband is starting to lose it a little bit. Uh, he attacked us the other the other day, and we think it's the ghost of uh, I forget his name already, but he died in this house, and now we think he's possessing our husband. Oh, hey, Ismail. Welcome. And yeah, we'll we'll probably figure it out what's happening. It's a pretty weird game though. I'm liking it though. <laughs> the live action cutscenes are great. Alright, so I can't click on anything over here. I do have a few items that haven't been used up yet. We have a key. You can hover a over large this. skeleton key. And then this guy talks, talks or explains. The this is a description of it. Key. A deck of tarot cards. Uh, I think we were gonna give these tarot cards to the that lady that we met in the barn that we helped get unstuck. A cuff. All right, well, let's get out of here. Go this way. I'm hoping the game doesn't crash on me. Crashed on me three times last time we played it. But I've changed some settings. So we'll see. Maybe it's some kind of emulation error. It has to be. Yeah, let's go look at this picture. Changed. Looks like a face. Looks like Ismail, actually, a little bit. Doesn't it? Yeah, we'll probably be playing Resident Evil 4 next week, Baku. It's very abstract, but it kind of looks like you. The painting? There's the beard. The eyebrows. The powerful eyebrows. Alright. art <laughs> it's very abstract art oh, hey Holden how are you doing I'm just trying to figure out what we should do 
we'll, we probably want to go talk to our husband. I don't know where he is at the moment. Is he chilling in the bathroom? No. This game came out in 1995 too, by the way. It's probably older than a lot of you guys. Especially Holden. No, 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 don't, lady. Alright, let's see. If he's in the, the torture room. That's tradition, we have to shock ourselves at least once every chapter. I made ramen with orange chicken and hot Cheetos dust pretty good. Nice. Hot Cheeto dust, did you have to like, do you, can you buy that separately or do you have to like get it from the bottom of a bag of Cheetos? Yeah, this game came out in 1995, this mail. So it might be older than you. Oh, you crushed up Hot Cheetos. Alright. Oh, we got a key. Oh no, it's a necklace. <laughs> I thought that was a key. It looked like a key. I found this in your room. Where did you get it? Why, Zoltan, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Gaston gave it to you, didn't he? No, I bought it when we were in London last month. I'm not a fool, Marie, I've been watching. When he looks at you, you smile and blush. And he's always hovering around you backstage. But you're wrong, Zoltan. He's just a friend. That's all. Zoltan. I don't want him here tomorrow night. But he's your prop man. He has a right to be at your party. Please don't accuse me of this. Believe me, Zoltan. I love you. Only you. I want to believe you. I do. The ghost has some issues with his wives cheating on him. I think he, like two of his wives cheated on him. <laughs> What the? She dropped it. Why did you drop it, lady? <sighs> Zoltan is Hungarian. Ninety five was one year old. Wait, can she grab the ring now? Oh yeah, there's a ring now. Let's grab it. Wait. She's not gonna grab it? I guess we don't need it yet. It may be older, but I'm wiser. <laughs> you're, you're very wise, bunny. I've played Fibbage with you, so... I know that you know things. No human would know. Alright, nobody's around. Wait, I never checked this. Did I? Oh yeah, we did. It was the note. Let's get out of here. Wait, can we lay on the bed? No, you can't. I like that you can speed things up. Makes things easier. But you, you do miss cutscenes sometimes. 
I'm sorry. Here's that lady. I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Yeah, ma'am. Tell me what to do. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Um, bathroom needs cleaning. Furniture needs polishing. And, um... Make me some G fuel. Floor needs sweeping. <laughs> That'd be I'll cruel. Right on it. That giant ass floor. Else? Uh, you need to take a bath because you're all dirty. Take this. Well, yes, I found these old tarot cards in the house. I don't read them. If you want them. You're darn right I want them. They're beautiful. I tell you what, I'll do a reading for you. A little later in the kitchen. Anything else? Uh, this? You're right. I thought you might be interested in... Okay, fine. Anything else? I don't think we need to give her anything. No. Anything else? The hammer? No. Anything else? Oh. Anything else? Way, uh, <laughs> I see you carrying around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? Alright, we finally get rid of the newspaper. All right, let's go get our fortune read. Look at this card. Look at these cards. But this card is important. It's a gypsy. Keep to yourself. Trust no one. I like how she just throws it out. She's a pretty good shot too. That'd be difficult to throw a piece of paper in. Considering the weight. They've made a good job, and this game actually has a nice concept of mixing virtual and real, yeah. Yeah. I miss these FMV games. Alright, let's go talk to that dude. Or that lady. Oh, hey, Dissident. No one. Oh, hey, Michael. How are you doing? Should be asleep, but this is more fun. Finally, figure out what's going to happen to this you know those family. Cards you give me? Uh huh. Well, it's time to do a reading right now. <laughs> well, okay, I guess. My game was uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Ismail. It'd be kind of cool to actually get your fortune Eight read. Cards. All right. She just looks at her like, this is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Age of Empires is good too. <laughs> now go fish. What is it? Well, of course, it's, it's all in the interpretation, but... Uh, I reckon you're going to die in 10 days. No, seven days. Come on, 23rd. Harriet. Well, all right. <sighs> this card in the middle is the fool. And that's you. Fool is surrounded by <laughs> all these roasted us. energies. This card, that's the lovers. That 
means, that means that the fool is gonna have to make a choice in the area of love. Now normally that ain't necessarily so bad, but all these other cards surrounding it, it Well, <clears throat> oh, these two cards, <laughs> that's justice and strength. And that's good, because the fool can use them to help out with rational solutions and a balanced mind, and courage, strength, and de determination. Blow your nose, honey. Sounds like I'm heading off to battle. You might be. Take a look at these Blow other your nose, four honey. cards here. The worst four cards in the deck. The hanged man. The oh, hey. Hey, bleep. I see you. Thank you for the $50 super chat, bleep. The tower. Break down. I you feel like this information is port important. Never forget to take your joy. Devil. And I guarantee you they will go as Did she say the dev? Well, well, well. Pain More pieces of paper. Gonna happen. Thank you, bleep. What's the verdict? It's hard to know. Actually. I wouldn't shake her hand. She's like blowing her nose all over the place. Because you know it's all in the interpretation. But off the top of my head, I'd say that you're going to have some big trouble with your hubby. Evil's got him. And he's going to change. Is predicting the whole story. You have to muster all the strength and courage that you have to fight it. There's going to be a sacrifice. And then you're going to have to use your wits to win. You're crazy. Oh, thanks, Harriet. I don't believe I in any of this stuff. Now, I know that you think that this is all just a bunch of hogwash. Now, Harriet, I really appreciate you trying to help me, but I just don't believe in this stuff. Well, now, all I know is that there's some bad trouble around here. You just better watch your Some place. bad trouble? Fine. I will. Is there good trouble? I gotta go to get my a tarot card reading. But bleep, thank you. Very generous. And welcome to the stream. We gave the the tarot cards to her, obviously, but now we're just kinda like wandering around the house looking for our husband. She kinda predicted the whole story. Well, what I'm thinking is gonna happen in the story. The husband gets possessed. And then tries to kill her because he thinks she's uh, cheating on him. Just like it's kind of like mirroring the previous owner or the demons or the ghost ghost life before this. That's my guess anyways. Where haven't we been in this house? Somewhat. I could be way off. He's giving where is Wal Wally vibes. <laughs> yeah, all she needs is like a striped shirt. Let's go outside, take a look around. Oh, here we go. Let's go talk to this dude. He's a bit slow, but he's he's a, seems like a good guy. Yeah, you stupid cat. 
Leave that cat alone. Boy, I play with you is all. <coughs> you stupid key cat. I run away and all I want to do is play. Cyrus? <laughs> Cyrus, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, they used a real cat. What were you doing with my cat? I, 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 I was just playing with it, is all. Cyrus, I like Cyrus. Play with him, okay? Okay. Oh, she's mean. Why are we so mean, guys? I'm going to save it. Save. Still don't know what this is. This is part of the house, I guess. Or puss. <laughs> He's still trying to play with that cat. Uh, Cyrus? Huh? When I was in the tower room, I could see a little building in the woods. I was wondering, have you seen it? Yeah. It, 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 it. Well, can you show me the way? Well, the trail's all washed out. Uh, usually what I do, I just jump over it. But where is it, Cyrus? Oh, oh, okay. I'll show you. Come on. Follow me. Follow Cyrus. I think he went this way. Wait, is he over here? He said by the river. Here we go. Oh, oh, there we are. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Cyrus. I tried to hurry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, see, there it is. Just like I told you. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. Cyrus is like Olympic jumper. Oh, I don't know, Cyrus. Looks kind of dangerous. Isn't there another way? No. Push the tree. Let's push the tree. Oh. Look out. I, I you should join the Olympics. Push. So strong. I'm strong. See? Wow. Boy, you are strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It's got muscles. Uh, Ma always tells me that that I have more muscles than brains. <laughs> yeah, your mother was right, Cyrus. <laughs> oh, hey, Ma Michael. With the 140 czar. Thank you. <sighs> Olympic jumper with the strength of an ox. I feel like Cyrus is going to save us in the end. But thank you for the donation, Michael. I hope work is going well. Take your joy today. Never forget to take your joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Smooth as velvet. All right, let's go across. Wait. She doesn't want to cross. What's going on? Yeah, cross, lady. 
Oh, it's just a really long cutscene. Give him a raise. Yeah. The section of awkwardness between cutscenes is just amusing. Yeah. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the awkward silence. Because they can't really, like, cut or, like, edit the scene or cut to a different angle. I'm assuming they, they film the whole thing on a green screen. What's this right here? Well, it, it took a lot to to do this back in 1995. We found a washer. Awkward like standing, st standing straight up after you pick things up is weird. Wait, we, we should take a look at that. Porno silence. <laughs> Hopefully we skipped all the nudity. There was a one really awkward scene. It was all censored out, but it was weird. A tarnished brass lens piece. All right. I would have never guessed that, actually. Tarnished brass lens piece. Oh, yeah. Four blinds. This is what your what your greenhouse looks like. I mean, not the plants, but what it. You have your own greenhouse, Ismail and Michael. That'd be really cool, actually. Having a greenhouse that looks like that. Wait, is this a vision? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Sorry, guys. Did you want something? Damn, I missed that whole cutscene. <laughs> Can I watch it again? I had to I had to leave to go answer the door. What was it? Was it just a vision?
I hope we get to watch it again. I'm just gonna go click on this. No, he can't. Damn. Damn, person at the door. Rewatch your own stream. Alright. Yeah, that's a good idea, dissident. What was that sound? The, 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 the game didn't crash, right? Oh, hey. Bunny gifted me a game. Press X to not die. Special edition. Oh, thank you, Bunny. Here's a little buffet. A little FMV buffet. Enjoy the wackiness of real life mixed with gameplay. Oh, wow. There. I don't know if you guys can see it. He gifted me. Press X not to not die and police quest and then the list. I'll have to check these games out. Thank you, Bunny. All right, I'm gonna rewatch the the stream. I don't know if you guys can see it. Zoltan. Lead me to my plants. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> She's he killed her with the uh, With, uh, what what is that? A gardening tool? A trowel. Thank you. He runs off and grabs, or goes, looks off into the sunset. Damn, I missed that whole cutscene. <laughs> yeah, you did, Dev. Can I watch it again? I yeah, you can. You have to rewatch the stream. Go answer the door. I know. It's annoying. What was it? Was it just a vision? Yeah, it was just a vision. All right. I hope we get to watch it again. Yeah, you do. I'm just going to go click on this. Yeah, just go click oh, on it, can't. Dev. Alright. Dev. Yeah. Alright. Dev. Yeah. Alright. Dev. Yeah. Alright. Dev. Why is there a re why is there uh an echo? Right. Dev. Why is there a re why is there uh an oh, echo? Oh shit. Dev. Why is there a re why is there uh a... Okay, alright, there. Alright, we should be good now. There we go. That guy was an asshole, right? All right, let's continue. Double dev. Oh, hey, Clarina. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, dissident. We found a pot full of heads. Should we turn off the sensor? As long as there's no like nudity, I'm fine with the gore. <gasps> what? 
the the wife. And how are you doing, child of the eighties? Turn off the sensor. All right. Uncensored. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh shit! How do now I do? Now that you are ready to play this game in all its gory, please re-enter your secret password. What the hell? I don't remember putting a password. Wait, wait, did I? Wasn't it like bunny? Wait, was it bleep? Shit. I don't remember the pa the password. I'm right, I bombed. I couldn't play with y'all yesterday, though. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, yesterday was it was good. We played a bunch of different type of games that we were we were using a a, a randomizer that Bunny made. Yeah, I'm gonna save it just in case. I don't want to mess around with this. Ha ha ha! Welcome back. What was the password? Dissident. I remember I named it after you guys. One of you guys. I just, it's probably not dissident because I don't know how to spell it. Maybe I misspelled my password. Damn. We can't watch or play the uncensored version because I don't know my password. Doing great. That's good. What? What if it's like the my Steam my Steam password? Parsnip Bunners? Maybe. You guys know me too well, you'll be able to hack into my my Steam account or my YouTube channel. As for Steam, your game is uncensored by default, you have to enter a password to censor it. Password. Done. Ah, oh, no. I don't remember. Yeah, have to enter a password to censor it. What? Maybe I, I just wasn't paying attention. It's bleep? Okay. Damn. That, that doesn't work. Uh, cause I remember playing this game before I started streaming it. I played it just to test it out and see how it ran. And I can't remember what I did for that. I remember having to put my name somewhere. Maybe it's just Devin. Um... I don't know, guys. Might just have to watch the uncensored version. Now we have to burn the body. That's how you get rid of spirits. Not a really big deal. There's some awesome scenes in Chapter 5. Thank you for looking back too, by the way, Bunny.
Can I poke at it? No. Alright, well that's the only thing that's there. It's just the body. We can go tell Odi or Cyrus about it. use this oh it's missing a lens piece there we go we have one of those hmm it's missing a lens piece now look through it Can I move the camera, the the lens around? No. It's that other window there by the tower room. What's that top t telescope for? I've never really used a telescope. Maybe that's just for perspective, or it's a sniper rifle. It's a sniper scope for a, a telescope. It's that other window there by the tower room. You need a, a, a scope on your telescope. Use the hammer on the fake wall. Oh yeah, I remember that. Let's go do that. Can now get through the that obvious fake wall. I wonder who that could be. Is she gonna tell him about the 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 skeleton in the greenhouse? Oh. Oops, wrong way. Come on. This way. Otis. I mean, Cyprus. <laughs> Why do I want to keep calling him Otis? Please don't crash. There we go. She, why didn't she tell him? That echo. Yeah, they sound like they're recording in like a tin can. Who's this? You must be installing the farm. Hi. Yeah, I'm Mike. Your uh, caretakers let me in. Oh, great. I'm going nuts without a farm. Yeah, I can understand that. This is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. The phone guy. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. I have a feeling he's gonna die. Whenever they introduce a character like that, they usually die. 
dev die. Wait, so was that the phone guy that we heard drive in? I'm assuming so. Yeah, here's his, his truck. Back when there was no mobile phones. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go see that fake wall. If I remember how to get there. I'm pretty sure it's like on the top floor. Wait. Oh, did I k skip a cutscene again? Ah, uh, no. I gotta be careful with the skip button. You never know when it's gonna happen. I missed a cutscene again. Damn. Second time that's happened. He probably just got mad at us. Uh, I don't remember this where this place is. It's got to be in, on this floor. Wait, wait, wait. I know where it is. I remember now. Right here. Hey, Ismail. Do you think this wall is fake? You got ice cream? Nice. What kind? Don was threatening Adrian and telling her to get rid of Harriet and Cy Cyrus. Alright. That wall looks like it's made out of cardboard. It's so flimsy. We paid for this green serene. We're gonna use it. Can do it, Adrian. Cornetto strawberry vanilla. Nice. Now let's go inside. We we build brick houses here. No way she could do that. Yeah, that was a really long cutscene of her breaking that. These are all the f uh, portraits of his ex-wives. Seems to like brunettes. There's another torture device. The neck stretcher. There's another torture device. The, I don't know. The chariot. Up more welcome to join, peeps. I, w I would take some if I was right next to you. Is that a necklace? Looks like three, three people. An antique cameo brooch. A brooch. Can I look at it? 
ako. Is there something behind it? Behind the image? There was more stuff in there. Yeah, we'll definitely take these to the the antique store. Guess this one. I would feel uncomfortable reading somebody's diary. September 14th, 1889. Dear Diary, I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Did my little girl have such fears? Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? How could people believe him Jeez. that it was an accident? Kill her. It was no accident. But dear diary, Zoltan wasn't always like this. I remember not so long ago when he was loving and gay. He was, he was gay? When what? Was born. I know. I remember. Maybe that's why he's unhappy because he's not into After women. His trip to Paris last year, he changed. Something happened to him. I don't know what. Now, all I have left are my plants. I spend most of my time in my greenhouse, as far away as I can get from Zoltan's ever watchful eyes. Yeah, I know. Gay equals happy. It's one of those old, older meanings. I could explain why, like, he... I don't know. Maybe he was possessed himself by something. He did have, like, that book booklet on uh, necromancy, didn't he? Wait, no, no. I want to look at the torture device. Yes, you're correct with which means Dawn will go even crazier as the game goes on. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the antique store. Try not to skip any more cutscenes. They should make it so you can't skip cutscenes. I mean, like this, these transition scenes you should be able to skip, but not actual cutscenes. Especially if you haven't seen them before. You dirty, rotten, stinking, filthy son of a bitch. You stay away from my life. Just what are you accusing me of, sir? I know exactly what you're doing here. Yeah, look, look. Look. John! I think you better leave. 
Don't you ever tell me to shut up. Oh, here we go. The chapter is finished. Can't go to the antique store today. You'll have to do, have to wait. So you can have another trippy dream. Don't you hate that feeling of when you have a bloody nose or bleeding nose? Eight thirty. Take a look at the laptop. Macabre. Whoa. Do you see a word in that? Do I have to type this? Somebody. Is, is there an error? What's going on with the laptop? Laptop. See if there's anything on the TV. Get out. Oh, I, I didn't see that. One of these days we'll have cable. Wait, wait. I wanted to go see the painting. See if they added anything to Ismail. Ismail's portrait. Uh oh. It's getting darker. I'm not going to hit the skip button, just in case he's inside this room again. Yeah, here we go. You'll see if it's a picture. Check all the mirrors. Alright, I know of two mirrors. There's one in the attic, and there's Don? one in this room. Are you in there? sulky too. Here we go. It's a portal. Is that night for you a special feast, Regina. I prepared all your favorites. Mm. Doesn't this look delicious? What is it? It's blurry. For starters, giblets in a rich red marinara sauce. There's like split seconds where it's not censored. Sweet and 
sour tripe. Still hungry? I don't even know if I want to see it. Intestines? She's feeding. He's feeding her. Kind of glad that there is. <laughs> it's uh, censored. That would be gross to see. Let's see if I can guess the password again. I'm gonna do a couple more guesses. <laughs> Welcome back. Ah uh, man. Now that you are ready to play this game in all its gory. Please re-enter your secret password. Don't you hate this when you when you forget a, your password and you try all like all the all of your the ones that you usually use? But this in this case it's not like something I would use for for an account, but it's just for like for a saved game. I I don't remember what I put. Try password. I'm pretty sure I tried password already. Uh, I can't remember. Can't. All right, that was messed up. We're gonna go check out that other mirror. You know, I want to see more pixelated gore. I don't know for sure where there's one upstairs. Because I remember we look, we were looking at ourselves for like. Five minutes, the whole cutscene. Try gold. Gold. <laughs> Welcome back. Password could not be found. Now that you are ready to play this game in all its gory, please re enter your secret password. Bleach. <laughs> Welcome back. Now that you are ready to play this game in all its gory, please re enter your secret password. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Guys, I'm sorry. I guess we'll just have to watch pixel version dissident I think we tried dissident Twists their head all the way around.
All right, we'll try gory and secret. That was messed up. Interesting torture device. <laughs> Welcome back. Now that you are uh, ready to play this game in all its gory, please re-enter your secret password. I don't know. Squishy, squishy time. Pretty sure we tried dissident. Maybe I spelt it wrong. Distant. All right, where did we see another p mirror? We had four other wives, right? This is the wife that fell down the stairs, according to the book in the antique store. And her head twisted all the way around. He made it look like an accident. Here's another mirror. But it doesn't have that cloudy stuff around it. Maybe one of his wife didn't die in here. Suggestion next chapter change, maybe start a new game uncensored. Oh, yeah, because we can just choose the chapters. I mean, we could just do this all over again. We could save it here. Restore. How do I go back to the main menu? Half screen. Here. Yeah, we'll try that. We we we're just starting chapter five, so and Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just choose any chapter you want. now will we get blacklisted or demonetized or not only I think only nudity is the big thing 830 they won't they don't want that kind of stuff on, on YouTube What? Enter your password. I, it was Bunners. That password could not be found. Now that you are ready to play this game in all its gory, please re-enter your secret password.
That was to go back to that room and get the cameo again, though. Maybe re-download the game. Yeah, violence is okay, but sex is not. Pretty much. Oh, bleep. Does anybody know the password? It was a thought, yeah. Hey, there's a... We have to read this whole thing. Uncensored mode. Here we go. If you don't like the graphic details of gore, select censor mode, you will be prompt for a password. Once you enter the password, all your games will be censored, even if you continue an uncensored game. You can switch back to the uncensored game play by entering your password again. But, alright. So you can't get past it. I don't remember what I put as a password. We could try re-downloading the game. But then I'm going to have to adjust everything. Like, do all the configure the con config file. So, I guess we can't. Sorry guys. Yeah, look, there's the memento. Just, we'll we'll have to use our imagination. There you are. What is it, Cyrus? It, it's Ma. I, I, she, she told me to to tell you to to um oh, come to the barn. Wait. What for, Cyrus? I think it has something to do with the, uh, uh, oh, the seance. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cyrus. Uh -huh. Cyrus. Or no, the seance. All right, let's see what our fortune is. this throw she gets it every time look there we go see that I didn't try anime titty titties bleep maybe I should try that <laughs> welcome back uh, it's not now that you are ready to play this game in all its Gory, please re enter your secret password. I don't remember what it is, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we'll go to the barn after we find all the mirrors. Maybe there's a config file that tells you what your password you used. I could check that, try that. There. Let's do a quick scan. Browse. Sierra Launcher. Fence. Install. Read me. see it. DOS box.
Hold up. Is Michael still here? Because we could ask him to hack into the Steam mainframe. Probably good at guessing passwords too. Yeah, guys, I don't see it. So no gore. No gore for us. It's like we're watching the... Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, Luna. Apparently the password thing is a common issue with this game. People accidentally turn on a censored and when it first asks you for your password when you start a game, people forget it. Yeah. That's happened to us. We, all we want to see is some blood. That's it. Nothing on my end. Recovering a lost password. I'm still here. You have to delete the save file. Old game store everything locally. I could delete the save file. That's a good idea. Alright, hold on. I gotta get into... Steam's mainframe. I don't know where this game saves, though. It's in Steam apps, right? Bands. DOS box. No. Patches? No. Robot? No. BMD? No. Uh, would it be in documents? My games. Alright, they don't save it in there. Downloads. Maybe an app data? Oops. I found sanitarium. Hold up one sec, guys. All right, quick. This game was made by Sierra, right? So the folder would be under Sierra. But I don't see it. No, I don't see it. I don't see a Fant folder. All right, guys. This this is too much. We'll we'll just we'll continue playing. It's fine. We just we won't watch the. The uncensored stuff. Gaston. Well, well, look who's here. In the game paths. To my dear. Yeah, I looked in Steam apps already. There's to you. No, here's to you, 
Victoria. Is it's him. So did we have only three wives? I thought we had four. Because I remember seeing a photo or another por portrait. Or four, four portraits. Oh, I see the save games now. The Faint, Fant, SG, 1 and 2. I could delete those. But I think you would, yeah, I think, Luna, you're right. You, we might just have to reinstall everything. So we'll just, we'll just, uh, we won't do that. But thanks for the help, Michael. Yeah, it's named Fant SG for a save game. That, that's what confused me. It's right in that folder, too. Oh, don't crash. Oh, she's glitched out. <laughs> Move them if it doesn't work, put them back. And reinstall it because everything is stored locally, so that's no biggie if you don't want to do that. Finally ready to leave your house now, you know, your car is right outside, you can drive to the local police station. They probably wouldn't believe us. I kind of want to see what, lo what it looks like outside. Hey, Judgment. Yeah, that would work, Michael. It would definitely work, but... We'll just leave it. Can't stay, just wanted to say hi. Alright, well you have a good night, Judgment. And thank you for coming by. the viewers wanted. Oh, oh is he my. trying to seduce us? No, no, no. Dinner. Welcome, oh, seeker of the spirit world. Oh, here he is. Please, have a seat. <laughs> Let the seance begin! She's crazy. But I kind of want to listen to her. Oh, elusive spirits of the netherworld, heed us now! Talk to us, so oh, shades of darkness. Give us a gleam of your essence. <laughs> Give us a sign of your spiritual being. I think they're button. Think they're button. Oh, restless souls. 
This poor gal seeks answers, answers to questions unknown. You just got to. Oh no. Oh. the hell it's flubber I was kind of lush was greedy and foolish and opened the door to the dark dimension all right I knew it I released some obscenity an entity of pure evil it had been contained, but now the pestilence is free to infect once more. T virus. Only you can send it back. Where's the chosen one? Find the dragon. It will show the way. Find the dragon. That was definitely strange. What? What happened? Where's Cyrus? You don't know? No what? Harriet, you did it. You really did it. You're not pulling my leg now, are you? No, I wouldn't do that. That's never happened before. Oh yeah. There we go. What if we can go to town right now? Might might be too late. What's going on here? Is there a party going on? What the hell? <laughs> Necessary lo long cutscene once again. Right, we're gonna go grab that dragon statue thing. close had a bit too much absinthe hey this is new it moved. <laughs> weren't weren't you over there before? And what? now you're here? Who moved this? Green Fairy. It's a projector. Let's take a look at this. Oh, 
dragon will lead the way. We have to go through the wall again. I have the hammer. There we go. Wait, was that there before? Like, could we have done that before? Secret panel. Uh, I don't think so. We would have had to have this this view of the the hall. Turn the valve. And I love old houses like this. Wait, go back. I saw something. Another pick, pick up. A cigarette. With no filter? Kind of badass smoking that. Pull the lever. Do it. Another secret entrance. This is how he moved about the house then. Oh crap. The mouse isn't working again. There we go. Uh, can I go back? Because I, I think I missed an area. Yeah, right here. That's how I, I guess, it take the elevator back. The previous floor. Oh, I know where we are. We're in that one room. And why are we back here? Right, I gotta check something. Where does this lead? Even further down. It's gotta be like dusty and full of cobwebs down there. Uh, I'm gonna get lost really quick. Remember, the only locked door downstairs is the secret passage. Whoa! It's too far. Be Cyrus can make down. that jump. Our boy Cyrus can make that. Oh, now we're in the chapel. Why are there all these secret passages everywhere? Later on in the game, Adrian will attempt to make that jump and you can actually die. All 
right, so I can't go this way. I can go back that way. There's something up with the, the emulation. There we go. Saw that before, but I didn't think of anything of it. Nice. Nice little view of the church. Lock down lock door downstairs. This secret passage will let you unlock that door. Finally you'll be able to be on the other side of it. Must have missed it. There's another secret door around here. Oh man, uh, maybe I should go back. I'm gonna find it. I'll find it eventually. Not that way. I guess we gotta go back up. What is that? I didn't see that before. Another peephole. That's why, like, the possibility that he's somewhere, I mean, he's been watching us with these peepholes this whole time. I think we're at the beginning. Why does this one need a lever and the other one didn't? It doesn't make sense. that way. Alright, I already looked at that. There we go. So this Gaston guy could still be alive unless he's a spirit. Can't find it. It's on the first floor. There's a secret entrance on the f first floor. All right, I'll keep an eye out. Well, let's go outside. I want to see what it looks like. Am 
my graveyard. There we go. It's really awkward playing like this. Ooh. What is that? A rose. A red rose. From the beautiful lady. Oh, Gaston. You did miss me. I was so afraid you wouldn't come. No one kills like Gaston. All I ever think about is you. Oh, Angel, how I love you. How does that song go again? Zoltan knows about us, Gaston. He found my necklace. I, I told him I bought it in London. She was cheating. I'm so afraid of them. You must come away with me, Marie. I'll take you far away from here. I can't leave. He'll find me. I know he will. He'll kill me like he did the others. Next week, Sultan's performing his new escape trick for the first time. I can set the machine so it won't work. He won't be able to escape. But the fire, the blade. Yes, my darling. You wouldn't survive. Tell me what to do. Oh, well, they sabotage him. Go take a look. That's pretty cool. They set well they pro they obviously failed. How did she find out he killed his wives? I don't know. He read his diary. All right, we got to find the secret entrance. And I'm going to restart the game after this because it's really annoying playing with the, the, the mouse cursor hitting a, hitting a wall every time it switches scenes. Well, it's not too bad. Check out the shimmering pool if you want to find the cat. Oh yeah, I remember this door. Which key is that? A large skeleton key. That should work, right? The shimmering pool. Is that the that fountain that we saw at the uh, on the top floor? No, skeleton key is supposed to work everywhere. The stairwell key. Some absinthe, it is. Seems like there was more here before. What he's drinking, absinthe. Really? I am the official hint keeper. 
I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. All right, I'll click on him once. Explore the secret passages. New places await discovery. There we go. This guy is basically Child of Light. All right, Child of the 80s, sorry. There's another guy. I think I've said this before, but there's another viewer. His name is Child of Light. I just got used to saying it. Right, where is this secret place? Gotta click on the right pixel. There's a game called Child of Light. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, the, that's like that side-scroller, right? That's made by Ubisoft. How can I not find it? so annoying there <laughs> if it happens again I'll show you guys wait what's down here yeah it's not doing it this time can't go this way uh, so it's supposed to be on the first floor according to to the 80s wait what's that there we go how did I miss that See, look, it stops. I can't move the cursor. Now I can. But then it stops and then I'm stuck in a box. It's weird. doors now oh yeah this is where he does his his show find out what happened to him I bet see if Don. Mary was successful Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you missed some things in there. Yeah, I was just testing if I could open the door. We cut cut God, to uh, look at you. this cutscene. Drinking too much ab absinthe. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I'm going to bed. Damn. Oh yeah, we missed chapter six. Can we go back in there? I'm I'm assuming so. That sucks. I just wanted to I wanted to test if I could open the door. So I could come and go whenever I wanted. Missed looking at the that chair. Alright, we'll go back there. Once I get back. I'm gonna take a quick break after this. That scene. Doesn't she have like different clothes? She's been wearing the same thing for like the past couple of weeks. Oh. Adrian. <laughs> you all 
right, honey? Yeah. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Don, let's leave. Please. We gotta get out of here. Look what this this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. It's not like Fortnite where I can just change my skin. I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine. Get in here and fix it. And then you leave. Don killed the cat. Oh, yeah, we were supposed to go look at that. Man, I missed a couple things. Son of a bitch. What was that? That was a bracelet, right? Man. We should just redo chapter 5. The cat collar? Oh, okay. So you did kill it. Kill the cat. I mean, not cool, but it's new information. But I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Give me a couple minutes. Just got to go use the washroom and stuff, but I'll be right back. of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes and you send them in. And the first joke comes from Winston Smith of Basingstoke Road. Let's see what Winston has to tell us. Uh, Dear Uncle Jack, I love your show, especially Humor Hour, blah, 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 blah. And here's one for you that always cracks us up. Question, how can you tell a German from a pickle? Answer, you can't. You can't tell a German anything. <laughs> Very good, Winston Smith. Thank you for that. <laughs> you can't tell a German anything. And this one here is from Cyril Price of Wexley Crescent. Cyril Price. Uh, my grandfather was a crack shot. Why, he shot five Germans. <laughs> and that was only last year. <laughs> yes, I mean, you could never be too careful, can you? That's from Mr. Cyril Price of Rexy Crescent. Thank you, Cyril. It's very funny. Now, what do we have now? Um, it's from uh, Mr. Michael Tunbridge of Upper Stokely Road. Question. What did the German say as he pushed his brother off a cliff? Answer. Look, Mama. No hands! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no hands! <laughs> It's very good indeed. <laughs> ah, those Germans. This one here is from um, our faithful contributor, contributor, yes, Mr. Persky Blatyang. <laughs> what have you got for us today, Mr. Persky Blatyang? Question. What do you call an angry German? Answer. <laughs> a sauerkraut. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I don't get it. Joe? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I don't understand. Is this a joke? Why would you call it a sauerkraut? Is this some kind of English word play? 
Uh, Mr. Pesky Blatchang, very good. Uh, Mr. Pesky Blatchang, as I said, of Duke of Leicester Street. And this is from... This is Helen Corcoran of Orange Circle. What's the best way to start a German joke? Answer, by looking over your shoulder. <laughs> yes, that's very good, looking over your shoulder. It's funny and it's also very sound advice, eh? <laughs> Here we have one from Mrs. Millie Dench from Kingshead in Hamlin. Question. Question. What did the German say to the English clock that went tick, tick, tick? Answer. We have ways of making you talk. <laughs> we have ways of making you talk. <laughs> Isn't that good? <laughs> I love it. Very good indeed. Well, I don't think we're really going to be able to top that one. If you do hear a good joke, don't hesitate to drop us a note marked Humor Hour at our studio, 2 Marlborough House, in the centre of Wellington Wells. And I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again next time for the best in humour. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Welcome to today's edition of Humour Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes and you send them in. And the first joke comes from Winston Smith of Basingstoke Road. Let's see what Winston has to tell us. Uh, Dear Uncle Jack, I love your show, especially Humor Hour, blah, 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 blah. And here's one for you that always cracks us up. Question. How can you tell a German from a pickle? Answer. You can't. You can't tell a German anything. <laughs> Very good, Winston Smith. Thank you for that. <laughs> you can't tell a German anything. And this one here is from Cyril Price of Wexley Crescent. Cyril Price. Uh, my grandfather was a crack shot. Why, he shot five Germans. <laughs> and that was only last year. <laughs> yes, I mean, you could never be too careful, can you? That's from Mr. Cyril Price of Rexy Crescent. Thank you, Cyril. It's very funny. Now, what do we have now? Um, it's from uh, Mr. Michael Tunbridge of Upper Stokely Road. Question. Your hands! <laughs> it's very good indeed. <laughs> ah, those Germans. This one here is from um, our faithful contributor, hey. yes, Mr. Persky Black. I'm back. What have you got for us today, Mr. Persky Blackyang? Question. What do you call an angry German? Answer. <laughs> a sauerkraut. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I don't get it. Joe? All right, sorry about that. I accidentally ended the stream. Alright, there we go. Hey, Ismail. Oh, what? Where did it save me? Oh, we're at back at the beginning of chapter 5. I guess we can go look at the fountain again. I think this game is haunted. Every time we play it, something goes wrong. can't look at the fountain. Oh, what the hell? How far did we go back? It's like the beginning of the chapter.
All right, my bad. Chapter six. All right, we'll have to go get up, grab that pendant or the brooch. Yeah, I guess we forgot to save. See drunk Tom or Don. There we go. Tomato. That's the that's the Canadian way of hey, spelling it. Oh hi. I'm just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Mike, I want to apologize for Don. He just he hasn't been himself lately. Well, you don't have to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled up in family quarrels. That's all. I know. I understand. Well, I better get back to work. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Like how color is color? Pretty much. What is going on there? He's building something. Don? Are you in there? Building a torture device. It's pretty dark, Clarina. Mato. All right, now we can leave. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta go get my fortune red. Stop moving. Evil is here. Find your salvation. 
Watch the shot. She hits it every time. She's so good at it. Alright, we're going to the antique shop in town. I accidentally ended the game and it didn't save 80s. So I had to start a new game and grab the brooch again. NPCs will we see this time? Ah, uh, I wanted to see that guy. See the guy? Oh, it is the one that's sitting down on the box with the jacket. Hey, yeah, there. Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to. Oh, uh huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description, and you said you'd pay well. I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hi. That old uh, phone. <laughs> see anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking, thanks. Take your time, dear. Does anybody have a landline okay. anymore? Any questions? Okay. Thanks. see oh you can't give it to her there's a duck right here damn oh it's a new NPC You have to look at something first. Oh man. I'd be so lost without you guys. All right, what is there to look at here? The duck. Uh, ma'am? Yes? Hi, I'm Adrian Delaney. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe you... tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? You're oh, we had to do this all, all over again? Yes, I am. We what do you ask? Yeah, we, we, we listened to that already. Oops. go that way without leaving. I have a question. Do you know 
anything about a very old man named Malcolm? No, I don't want to leave. Excuse me. Yes? I probably have to talk to her a bunch of times. And then she'll help me. Has anybody at all lived in the Carnivash estate since... Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello. Sorry to bother you again, but... No, it's not, Ismail. I'm wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little... Yeah, we have to do all this dialogue over again. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. Just looking around. There we go. Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Yes? You know that beautiful crucifix in the display case over there? Yes. I was wondering how much you're asking for it. It is a lovely piece, isn't it? Yes. This particular crucifix is not terribly old, only from the early 19th century, but it is a rare piece made out of titanium, a metal which had only just been discovered. I didn't know they made jewelry out of titanium. They don't, as a general rule. That's what makes this such a rare piece. It is interesting. So, how much? Oh, not much, considering its rarity. Only 2,200. That much? Really? That's more than I can afford right now. Well, in that case, call me if you need any further assistance. He's so nice. I'll trade her the brooch. Excuse me. Lou? Oh, yes, Adrian. How can I help you? I understand you're interested in old cameos. Yes, I am. That's what she was talking about before. Well, I found this old cameo brooch in my house in an old trunk. I thought maybe you might be interested in it. Oh, let me see. I was wondering if maybe you would be interested in trading it for that crucifix over there. Well, sure. That was easy. Power of Christ. There you go. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, and thank you. Brooch must be worth, like, twice that. That's if she... It was that easy to get that off of her. An antique crucifix. Hmm. Made out of titanium. I wonder where we use that. My guess is in the chapel. Oh yeah, we have to go look at the cathedral too. Or the auditorium. Hey, it's this guy. He's my favorite. He just gets up and leaves. Just having a just having a sit with his bucket hat and his jacket. Let's go. Nice attention to detail. Cutting out the stuff in the window. This guy's still Fixing the phones. Wait, let's play the music again. Is the same car scene just reversed? <laughs> Pause.
possibly. Here we go. Well, that looks like a guillotine. Now I remember. I just had a flashback. What exa exactly what it is, Dev? Guillotine. Incredible Carno and the horrifying or no horrifying throne of terror. Alright, we get even less frames in this. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the most spectacular show. I know what you're thinking. Can you count how many frames there are? You will witness an extraordinary performance, the likes of which have never been attempted before. Never been attempted before. Here we go. The incredible Carno will defy death. In this, his newest feat, featuring the horrifying throne. This is where she messes with the or sabotages it. Oh, uh, why? Machine. I slept with him last night. Admit it, you're still seeing him, aren't you? No. You're out of your mind. Why oh, does he have a torch? Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Arno! Fire. Oh yeah, maybe that's part of the act. Let's light something on fire. Wait, were, were the wives actually cheating on him? Or is he just like, just like that? Or he thinks everybody, or thinks he has trust issues with his women. Yeah, it's part of the act, the torch. Whoa. Right, that's crazy.
Wow. That's crazy. So that's what happened to Carno. Whoa. His face is all burnt. We got a pretty wicked haircut. Look, it's Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Carno and Malcolm, 1897. There we go. Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes and you send them in. And the first joke comes from Winston Smith of Basingstoke Road. Dear Uncle Jack, I love your show, especially humor, ah, blah, 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 And here's one for you that always cracks us up. Question, how can you tell a German from a pickle? Answer, you can't. You can't tell a German anything. <laughs> Very good, Winston Smith. Thank you for that. of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes and you send them in. And the first joke comes from Winston Smith of Basingstoke Road. Dear Uncle Jack, I love your show, especially Humor Hour. And here's one you can always crack up. Question, I think you're the journal. You can't get a German anything. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Smith. Thank you, man. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> this game, I don't know what it does to OBS or my computer. But hopefully, we can finish the game before the game crashes again. We have to redo everything from chapter six. That's fine. We know what to do at least. We can do do this first, actually. And the game crashed again. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on. It's haunted. Yeah, this game is haunted. Sierra. What other games do they make? Weren't they bought out, Sierra? It's too advanced. 
Ja. We just got one more chapter after this. We'll speed run it. Welcome to Crashing with Dev. Yeah, all you need to do to crash your computer is play Phantasmagoria. Speed crash it. Ah, oh, don't, don't you dare crash again. Don't you dare. Okay, alright. She was just standing really still. <laughs> I thought she the game crashed. Laura Bow, Gabriel Knight, King's Quest, Space Quest, Quest for Glory. Or right, this is where it crashed last time when we looked at this photo. Carno and Malcolm, 1897. All right, we have a photo of that, of Malcolm. We can go see Malcolm now. But we'll have to go buy that, or find that brooch, and then trade it for the crucifix. We'll, we'll watch this again. Oh, you can't skip it. I don't know why. This game, my GPU can handle this game. Maybe it doesn't run off the GPU. It is does use DOSBox. I don't know what that program, what how it works. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Go up there, that way, that way. See what he's doing. We already know what he's doing. He's making a torture device. Grab this, go up there. Speed run. It's predicting this where you, your mouse, where you need to have your mouse. That's the whole speed run. Yeah, we heard his crazy craziness. Save. Good idea. We'll grab the antique crucifix first. record time Is the dog still here? No.
save. Maybe do do I have to like click on the picture and then on the on the door? All right, here we go. Take a look at this picture. Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Just a minute. This cutscene coming up is very long. That's all right. Hey, Zizer. Malcolm, I see you now. Let me in, old crone. She is here, Malcolm. Set. Is it story time with Malcolm? I remember. <laughs> What was it? This picture. I was just a young nipper of ten. Carl was, was my hero. I wish I had subtitles. Ben. Your hero? Yeah. I know. Why you saw in this picture? Saw? Yeah. The evil. It's back. And my husband? <laughs> it meant me to live for you. What? Yeah, the lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. Carno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But all that changed when he got Sultan the and book. Disney Aladdin. Cool. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed a demon, an entity so evil it had no name, no worldly description. This thing came to possess Khan, audience or Kano became like it. He became very powerful, and his his fame and, and, and his wealth increased. But he was cursed. He had read me a long ago. His wife Hortensia and their baby daughter. But all that changed. He became abusive. I don't have proof, but I believe he killed them both. I believe he killed all his wives. But Malcolm, what happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prophet man, Gaston Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. He had a new act, an amazing 
I don't understand how they sabotaged the that contraption. The machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. It almost did. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. But then he survived. He awoke. Swearing revenge. Ah, uh, really? That part's I saw censored? Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into his theater. There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, leaving him dead. Then, it was Marie's turn. Totally crazed, nothing but pure revenge on his mind. Carno started up that god awful machine, that awful contraption. And before my very eyes, I saw Marie die. I'll never forget the look. Of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Poor Gaston was dying. This was his final heroic act. Why is that censored? Jeez. To my horror. All three of them died. I then saw a demon. That's all I know to call it leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. My only thought was running away, but I, I hesitated when, when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. I thought Carnal was dead. I rushed back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carnal carrying the chest which held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I picked up the chest containing that horrid book, and I assume the demon itself, and carried it into the chapel. I really don't know what I saw yeah, the cross. He was doing, but somehow I. I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped forever. After leaving the chapel, I, I then dragged Carno's body back to his secret chamber, where he now lies. But wait, Carno's not in his tomb? No, 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 that is Gaston Warwick. He, he was so mutilated that they all thought he was Carno. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. And what about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, it you must have it. been released. What can we do? The only answer is the accursed book. Oh, with it, you, the you, accursed you've got book. to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Back to the other side. You have 
see in the book. Yes. I thought so. All right, young woman. You're the only one who can do this. And Your husband's one. soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But if you can somehow get close to the demon, here's what you can do. You'll need the book. Uh, a holy item. Yeah, we have that. The stone of Hammurabi. <laughs> oh. And the blood of a sentient being. Now, take the book and... Oh, what? What? He cut off. The blood of a YouTuber. I will. I will give you my blood, Adrian. All right, that was pretty cool. Let's go. Go grab that book. We need a blood of a, a sentient being. So does that mean a blood of a god? And then a stone of something. Why is it never easy to find things? Maybe we could have found that all at at the general store. Is there a blood section in, in the general store? Your blood will work? Maybe. I know for sure where the book is, unless somebody moved it. Okay, Adrian, you're all set. Great. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. <laughs> uh, Mike, I want to apologize for Don again. Just hasn't been himself lately. But normally, he's a very nice guy. He... <sighs> really. Yeah, don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. Do you call me if you have any trouble, okay? I will. I sure will. Thanks. Uh, do you want to exchange numbers or what? What's your number, buddy? Uh, I oh, Don! What the hell, Don? That that laugh is terrifying. There we go. Damn, I, I liked Mike. Chapter 7. I think this is the last chapter. <laughs> we'll go collect his blood. She collecting her things? What about the ritual? That photo. She's over it. Hmm. 
We need like a melodramatic rock ballad right now. Something. There we go. Yeah, I'm saving. Well, it, the, the chapter just started, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Is there anything on the TV? No. Oh, hey, Holden. All right, let's go see Ismail's painting. Whoa. Whoa, Ismail. That's Ismail's beast form or demon form. We all have one. That's a really cool painting. Alright, go back. What happened while I was gone? A lot. Our husband is slowly going insane because he's possessed by a demon. And now we're trying to free him from that demon we just need a couple of ingredients to perform the the ritual oh, we don't have to watch that I can't remember which room the chapel was in. I think it was the first first floor. The husband also may be have just committed murder. I wonder if being possessed by a demon would hold up in court. That way. He's not in there. Hey, the book is gone. That's not good. Somebody moved it. Oh, it's on the ground. Somebody grabbed it. Great. Possessed. Damn, alright, so the book isn't here. What about this one? Maybe in the auditorium. Oh, wow, look at this. This must be Carno's family tree. Whoa. I can barely read that Lenora Moody 
Karno Vash. Mary O'Downed Karnovash. That's her, that's his latest husband, wow. Partner. Latest victim. Alright, he's not over here. Hey, welcome back, Judgment. Amar Amaru Amari connects to the chat. Well, welcome, Amari. He's gonna be inside inside here. I know it. I'm saving it. What is this? What is that? Is that a Christmas ornament? Snowman Christmas ornament. Yeah, it is. Why is he carrying that? Weirdo. I'd buy a poster like that. I wonder if this game has any merch. Where did we see a Christmas tree? I'd buy it. Yeah, me too. Have you found white space yet? Not sure what you guys are talking about. Where are our uh, Cy Cyprus or Cyrus? Oh yeah, we didn't go to the get our fortune told. Oh shit! Oh no! I I skipped the cutscene. Damn it! She must have seen him. She's being chased. windows yeah the windows are bulletproof all right I can't go in there I also have to turn on the light I don't think I go down down here. Wait, what's that? That's new. You didn't ki skip the cutscene? Oh, okay. That's good.
Yeah, look. That towel. You are trapped in the house. One sec, I want to... Oh, I think it was just the carpet. Never mind. Looked like there was blood on it. I'll make sure not to skip anything. I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leave the house in chapter five. We gotta figure out where we use the snowman. Unless the snowman is part of the ritual. Trapped in the house, we can't go outside. That ring, is that a stone of whatever they were talking about before? The stone of whatever. You and your brother finished Green Hell. Nice. Oh, so that, does it have a story mode? Oh, you can't click on it. I was wondering about that. Blood of a sentient snowman. There was another. There was the, cru the crucifix, and then a stone of something, and then the blood of a sentient being. Cool. Yeah, I I I like Green Hell. We played it a, a long time ago. It was a great survival game. Oh, here we go. Oh, so that's what it was. It's a, it's a red room. Where he develop fo develops photos. Crush. You cooperated with me very well. <laughs> Run, lady. Use the hammer. No. The crucifix. No, wait, now the poker. Oh no, I died. What was I supposed to use? You have expired. Yes. All 
Alright. Hammer. What the hell? Crucifix. Nope. Oh. Use your environment. Oh, I thought I had to use an item. We're close to this. Throw the drain cleaner in his eyes. Now run, lady. Ah, uh, go upstairs. This way. Through that. Secret passage. Why not outside? I think we're still trapped. Wait. Oh no! Jump, lady. Jump. Do it. You can do it. Now this way. Whoops. This way. There we go. Need the book in that back room? Yeah, where do we find that? It's not here. I guess we gotta run around until we find it. Here we go, what's this? It's blood. Oh no, it's Cy Cyrus. Oh shit. <laughs> that was totally Cyrus. We need his blood. Quickly grab some blood. Shit, which way do I go? Knock him out! <laughs> nice. Now we gotta run back. That book was in where the room where Dawn was? Oh, I gotta go back there. No, you got me. Oh, no. Watch this. I thought we knocked him out, didn't we? Jeez. 
Please. Review. Would you like to try again? Yes. Can I go this way? I can't. Oh no. Alright, so I gotta go. Never mind. Jeez, what's up with his face? Alright, we died again. Can't go that way. Yeah, he's two faced now. Slowly making my way back. Kind of expecting him to be around the corner. Alright, we got... There's the book. Could we have grabbed that before? That walk. Damn. He's finally out. <laughs> Do we have all of the ingredients? That's what I'm looking for is the blood. Ah! Never mind, he got me. Ah! Alright, he's, he's back up. He's got to be up, up here. We, I mean, we got to go up here. What is that?
That's new. Oh, what? Did I just find like a fail safe? What was that? Can't use that crucifix. Alright, that doesn't work. Snowman. Knock him out. Slice his throat. Wow, there's so many different fail states. the hell you can't you cannot escape him this no man remember this let's see the memory remember when you gave that to me pull the lever We still need to exercise him, right? The demon is still alive. He got killed, but the monster is still here. That's cool though, I didn't know you can like do stuff during the cutscenes. We gotta get the hell out of here. Uh. 
Is he crying blood? Jeez. Rips her face off. Can you use the book somehow? I mean, I'm, not, I'm not even sure. Crucifix? Oh yeah, we're going this way. The only way we can go is this way. This is gonna have to make this jump. Don't fall. Ouch. So I can go back. I'm going to go back. Oh, I died. Can I squeeze through this? He's gonna do his face rip off attack. Rip his face off. That's his only attack. I guess that's all you need. That's all you need. Can I climb on the... Oh, I can. There we go. The pole. still work. Keep going. Close it. There. Oh shit. Face rip off. Oh. 
They forgot to censor that. That's pretty crazy, though. Alright, close that. Found the secret altar. Use the fire stoker on the pipe. Click on the altar. Magicum. Let's see. Stand inside circle. Magic circle. Stand inside the magic circle. Looks like we're in a magic circle. Already in the circle. Um, Ponate, fascinum, in paganum, apertum, liberi. Liberi is book. Talisman in open book page. Talisman? That's the... Shit. Crucifix, right? Or is it this? It's gotta be the crucifix. Oh, no, it's too late. He, he's got to have a different attack. Can't just rip people's face off the entire time. We got to start from here. Book. There, that must be the talisman. Use the blade on ourselves. Can I do this? Would you guys cut yourself if you had to for like a, a ritual? on her finger. It's not not even that bad. Tenete, hoc betum, 
super fascinum et yes et quantite hoc carmen uh hold blessed item over talisman and say this incantation it's getting closer Blessed item. hurting him. did it her husband's dead her care caretakers are dead she's the only one survi that survived made it. And you get arrested for murders. Who's gonna believe us? Oh, there. Nice. We won. We won. Alright, that was great. I love that. It was super cheesy at some points, but I can see what they were going for. I guess they got like a little anthem at the end. Phantasmagoria. GG. Alright, yeah. Well, that was Phantasmagoria. Great game. I, I kind of wish there was more um, puzzles. But I did like the point and clicks part of it, the game. It, if I didn't have you guys. I probably it probably would have taken me twice as long. Is this an original song? Yeah, the music is great. The song's awesome. You gotta take a step on her live tonight. Original song, yeah, really. But yeah, I liked. I really like the story. This would be a great movie. Make me still. Great, great song. 
So 90s. It's probably copyrighted. Stream is being copyright claimed right now. see the cutscenes uncensored on YouTube. I don't know if I want to see that. Oh, damn. Rewatch watch movie review. Chapter 7. Alright. Point and click adventure games are great. I just wish there was a little bit more puzzles. But, yeah, if trying to figure out everything. Clicking on the right pixel. It made sense in the end. I don't think I would have ever figured out that I, I would have had to bring that brooch to the antique place to trade in for a across I mean we would eventually figure that out once we talked to Malcolm about the the photo but I kind of went I figured that out beforehand because of you guys telling me but yeah I don't think I would have enjoyed this game as, nearly as much if I didn't have help so thank you guys it was, it was definitely great experience Unnecessary uh, sex scene at the, at the, I think, start of chapter two or chapter three. And I, I would have liked to see the gore, but it's not necessary. I kind of get what they were going for there. Puzzle of flesh. Is there a sequel to this? Really? Maybe. I mean, in the future we'll definitely try the sequel. Play Harvester next time, please. I can't look at... It's weird, the, this game will, will not let me open my Steam overlay, which kind of makes sense. I was going to look at a Harvester. That was the acting. <laughs> Uh, the acting was pretty good. They kind of... I think they were trying to go for the cheesy horror movie type of acting. So, I, I like... I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad. It was just over the top. Especially Don, the Dawn guy. Definitely played the part of a possessed crazed uh, demon puzzle of flesh is a sequel in in name only but it's quite fun yeah yeah i liked it considering the sex scene not maybe not puzzle of flesh <laughs> It's weird. For some reason, Steam doesn't let you view things.
What's the movie? Ironic, but there there isn't a way to censor Phantasmagoria too, at least if that I remember. Cool. But yeah, well, maybe we'll check out Harvester or a Puzzle of Flesh in the future. And we'll probably play some of those uh, FMB games tomorrow. The ones that uh, uh, Bunny gifted to me. I really want to try out that, the list. So it should be a good stream tomorrow. Please check out my channel. Here, hold up. I think I'm sub subscribed to you. Child of the 80s. Give me a sec. Death trash. WhatsApp. Screw off WhatsApp. Child of the 80s. Oh, wow. Is this you? Thundercats, Silverhawks, sh sh Tiger Shark. I think I, yeah, I think I am a subscribe to you. Around here somewhere. But yeah, you play a lot of the like older games. I saw. Which game were you playing? That's recent, like Shovel Knight. But yeah, we will play some. We'll probably play some Resident Evil next week switch it up a little bit here we go check out child of the 80s fellow youtuber that yeah, you're playing shovel knight and yeah we'll switch things up a little bit for t next week but we will come back to those these older eight fmv games they're fun they're a lot of fun to play with you guys um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for the donations earlier, Bleep and Michael. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to uncensor the game. But yeah, this was fun. Thank you, Dissident, for gifting it to me, too. But yeah, we will stream some FMV games tomorrow for for the Itch.io Tuesday. I'm thinking we'll start with the, the list. Should be a pretty good time. And if you don't know what the list is, I, I did a video on it, but it's a, inv a investigation type game where you watch uh, videos trying to figure out, piece together a crime that happened. We did a short video of the demo. It was pretty interesting. It's kind of like her story, if you've played that. But yeah, it's good. Did you take your joy today? Oh, hey. Never forget to take your joy. Money with the $2. And I guarantee you Super chat. Was smooth as velvet. But yeah, check out Child of the 80s. He does a lot of, or he's playing Shovel Knight right now. He hasn't uploaded anything in two weeks, but he's uh, the guy that's been helping me. This, well, a lot of you guys were helping me too. So, but that's their own sale. But thank you, Bunny. You guys have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably around the same time, three or four. But, yeah, it should be 
Good to go. Good to stream tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Goodbye.